All right, we had a real cold snap in Southwest Ohio last night. It is negative 10 according to my watch. I think that's pretty accurate. Uh, it's 37 degrees in my garage. I, it did precondition this morning, so we're going to take a little drive and we're gonna see how it holds up and uh, see if it stays in electric mode on the way to work. Okay, here we are. We're just a half mile away from the, the house. And if I reach over here and I hit electric mode, you'll see I get the electric mode temporarily unavailable. And I would say this could be considered quite normal operation. Um, it isn't going into form, but it is just giving me the electric mode temporarily unavailable. And that's without the cabin cooling and heating uh, message. That's just that message on its own. If I hit the electric mode, there it is, electric mode temporarily unavailable. And I'm sitting here at an intersection. Here's the other nice thing about the electric mode unavailable. The engine continues to run, which, you know, normally we wouldn't want, but during the winter to avoid form, we don't want a lot of starts and stops happening while we're uh, sitting at intersections. So uh, it's uh, gone into that electric mode unavailable mode and it's just residing in that space. So my question in this, and this is a question I've had for a long time, uh, this is going back over a year now, is why we see so many Wrangler 4xe's that drop into form and not electric mode temporarily unavailable. Every statement we've received from Jeep Cares in the uh, 4xe fans group and everything I've been able to get my hands on says that the Wrangler 4xe should go into an electric mode unavailable, uh, temporarily unavailable mode when it gets this cold and not just drop straight into form. I, and a lot of people in the forums and a lot of people in the 4xe fans group have, uh, and I've seen it on YouTube too, a lot of people just make the comment, well, once it gets cold, I'm in form, that's just the way it is. But for some reason, there seems to be some operational irregularities that I can't figure out. And this is a little bit of a quest that I've been on behind the scenes is to try to figure out why that is. Why, I mean, the end result is pretty well the same. Uh, you're gonna be stuck with the gas engine running. It's gonna be operating as a hybrid. You can still charge it at night and you can still see that it uses some electrical energy, but it is, um, you know, when it gets that cold, it's just gonna be that the engine is going to run. But um, I, I do have questions as to why some people seem to land in the form easier than other people. And I'm going to have another video coming up uh, about this subject, about oil dilution form and, and um, something strange that I found on my own Jeep. But um, I'm, I'm, I'll upload that at a later time. I'm still in process on that. But it's just a question I have, and I have yet to be able to get uh, any solid answers on that. And uh, I'm just we're really curious as to why some vehicles go straight into form while others operate this way with the electric mode unavailable. So I hope we can find an answer to that together. Thanks for watching. Take care.